When I first sit down with a client, we go through all the balance sheet accounts. Why? Because those accounts are where all your business history is located. So go through your balance sheet and make sure you have all your accounts listed. That's bank accounts, savings accounts, every business credit card account that you have, any loans, lines of credit, and any other assets your business owns. For coaches, gurus, and OBMs, that could be a vehicle, pricey office equipment like computers or cameras that are over $2,500. The flip side is I often see assets listed that the business does not own. This is a big red flag, and the culprit here is usually a vehicle that's listed as an asset to the business, but the title is in the individual's name. This is a huge problem for your business if it is set up as an LLC. Why? Because now you've pierced the corporate veil by mixing business and personal. And should you ever find yourself in a lawsuit, your limited liability protection could go away. Does this mean that I can't claim my vehicle deductions on my tax return? You can. There's a difference between what you need to do to satisfy legal requirements, like your LLC, and that of your tax return filing on a Schedule C. The IRS doesn't care about mixing any business or personal when you're filing your business taxes on the Schedule C, uh, but ask me in the comments why you should. So go ahead and review your assets and make sure you're including everything owned by the business and excluding everything that isn't.